from 2014. A tale of two battles with the White House being against humanity in each. In Gaza, Obama criticized Israel people for fighting for their lives. In Ukraine, Obama criticized Putin for not ordering Ukrainian separatists to stop fighting for their lives. In each case, Obama does not appear competent or realistic, but he is consistent. Ukraine are perpetuating a battle and using artillery to possibly cover up their involvement in shooting down a civilian aircraft. In perpetuating the conflict with international police in the danger zone, a case could be made for war crimes, charges being brought to bear on Ukrainian military and government. In keeping with Obama policy in Gaza, if he wants peace in Ukraine, he should release everyone convicted of a sex crime currently incarcerated in the U.S., it won't work, but it is in line with what he has ordered Israel to do. Today is the deaths of two martyrs in 1540, which highlights world policy today. Robert Barnes and Thomas Abel were on opposite sides of the religious divide, but they were both executed by Henry VIII, keen to be even-handed so as not to let his enemies unite. Barnes was a reformer. Some might call him a Protestant. He had met Martin Luther, and after having delivered what is now called the first sermon of the English Reformation and having written treaties on religious thought, he was recognized by Wolsey and became an advisor. His advice for Henry to marry Anne of Cleves did not work out well for him. Barnes had made political enemies, and after Cleves' marriage went south, no one could defend him, and so he was executed. Abel was a committed Catholic who applied his faith to support Henry VIII's first marriage. He had printed his thoughts in a foreign country under a fake name, but his actions were considered treason, and so he was hung, drawn, and quartered. Henry's decision was not based on religion, but was political. But both men had made a stance on faith and died for it. Today, we see what happens when the foolish take sides and are not even-handed. Obama might be sincere in his support for Hamas and an unrepresentative and murderous Ukraine, but political perceptions change. Also, on this day in 1419, Prague experienced a series of defenestrations of her local councillors. A young woman once asked me if I wished to be defenestrated by her. I had to admit I didn't know. Turns out it means being pushed out of a window. In 1502, Columbus's fourth voyage placed him on an island off Honduras. In 1608, Samuel de Champlain shot and killed two Indian chiefs, setting back French relations for a hundred years. In 1619, in Jamestown, the first representative assembly was held in America. In 1676, the delightfully named Nathaniel Bacon made a declaration that the assembly was not being representative. Later that year, he died from dysentery. If only they had listened. In 1733, the first Masonic Grand Lodge opened in the U.S. In 1866, in New Orleans, the Democrats assaulted an integrated GOP meeting, killing 40 and injuring 150. In 1930, in Montevideo, Uruguay won the first World Cup. In 1932, Walt Disney did the first animation in Technicolor. In 1956, Eisenhower approved the monetary motto, In God We Trust, which today still confuses Democrats. In 1971, Apollo 15 used the first moon rover. In 1975, Jimmy Hoffa disappeared for good. That's it for today. If you come by this video at a later date and you like it, like it! Also, feel free to comment and share. Spread the love. Be well.